Welcome back, Team Fever. Back to another video. I'm back with another Big Brother All Star Season 7 review video. And in this video, I'm reviewing episodes. I think it's 13 through 15. I might have that wrong, but y'all can look at the title and tell which episodes I'm reviewing. Uh, this is a throwback video. I've been watching Season 7 for the first time. Uh, I've been watching it for like a year now. You can go back and watch all. My, I've been I've reviewed every single episode I've seen. So just go back and you'll see like all the episodes I've reviewed, which is one through twelve. This video I'm reviewing thirteen through fifteen. So we start with the spider web challenge, the H O H challenge that I was talking about. And in my last video, I said like, oh, this should last hours. This should be like all they're doing is just sitting up there. But I didn't know that it moved, so it started moving. Which I mean, like, I feel like it's still not that hard, and I'm not even in shape. But I feel like it, it's not hard, like, to just stay up there. But then they told them that they had to go up under, you know, and start hanging from it. But they could, they only had to have their head and their torso out. I guess you got to have upper body strength. But if you just wrap yourself and just stay, like, yeah, it'll hurt, but I don't know. And, and the final three became Danielle, Howie, and Erica. Uh, and my boy James was out pretty early. I was really surprised how early he got out. Danielle kept complaining about how she was going to fall it. There's no way. I'm about to fall. I'm about to fall. And like at one point, like she even like was about to get off. And then she's like, ah, never mind. And she went back up. And it was like, it was Donna Danielle, Howie, and Erica. Erica looks solid. Like Erica, if they wasn't with all these deals and stuff, Erica would have won. Like maybe she the lightest one in the house. No, nah, because I don't think Erica has kids though. Like Danielle has kids. But I don't even know how that would like play a role in this. But long story short, Howie ended up losing. He uh, Both girls promised that they wouldn't put him up. He ended up dropping, and then it was down to Erica and Danielle. And all Danielle said was, let me have this. And Erica was like, all right. And Erica dropped. Uh, this was a really good three episodes, though. This was really good. I was screaming at the TV for this one. So Danielle wins HOH, and then she nominated Janelle and James. I was really surprised. I really thought it was going to be Janelle and Kaser. I'm pretty sure the whole house probably would be Janelle and Kaser. She sat down with James and was like, I got an idea. And he's like, you want to put me up? And like he already knew. And like Danielle was like, yes. So she wanted to hide how close they were. Uh, James acts surprised, but like season six, well Janelle knew that like uh, it's bacon, like cause they all they all knew Danielle and James were pretty close. Which I mean Danielle's a great great player, and like all the fans love her and stuff. I haven't seen season three, but like she's respected and she's known as the girl that was robbed and should have won and all this stuff. Why is more people not going after her? It's really weird. Will got out really early inside the challenge. By the way, I didn't write this down, but I remember. He just like jumped off because they had like these little eggs where they crack it. The first five people got an egg and like two of them were rotten so they didn't get anything. One of them was a slot free pass. One of them was eliminated eviction vote and one of them was cash. So Will wanted to cash. So Jay pretty much agreed to be uh, one of, uh, a pawn for Danielle. So Janelle and James are on the block. We go to the Beto. The Beto players are Marcellus and Chill Tom. Both Chill Tom got picked. I find it so weird that James wanted Chill Town out. Like, his whole thing was he wanted Chill Town out. That's why he's not friends with Janelle anymore. Now he's working with Chill Town. Like, don't, don't that seem weird? The people you wanted out didn't get out. So now you're working with them. And you turned on the person who you were closest with. You don't think that those people who you wanted out know that the reason why you don't like Janelle anymore is because she didn't get y'all out? But it's also weird because it seemed like the whole house hate Janelle. Because Chill Town, even though Janelle didn't get them out, they want Janelle out. It's so weird. It's like you will really yell at the TV with this because it, it just it bothers like maybe if I was watching the feed, but it just don't make sense. It don't make sense. Janelle saved y'all, and the guy who wanted y'all out, y'all are now working with, and now y'all want Janelle out when she saved y'all. It doesn't make sense. It just explain it to me. Explain it to me if y'all seen it. But uh, the veto competition, I really love this. I love these type of competitions. I've been watching, like, like when I watch Old Big Brother, these are my favorite vetoes. So it's basically how bad do you want it. So you start with 40 points, and Big Brother offers you certain things. Uh, the first to click it gets it, get, accepts it. So it's like, would you get 10K, like $5,000 to get rid of 10 points? You know, whoever has the most points in the end wins. I thought that James was such an idiot in this competition because you're on the block. They want someone from your alliance. Think a lot. I don't know. It's so weird. Like it's like it's almost like they wanted Janelle to win this. It's so weird. Like Chill Town, I understand. Not really with Boogie, but Will, I understand. Cause Will don't give. A, Will don't care. So they trying to take all these prizes. I, I wrote down some stuff. 
So, uh, Boogie got, he, he stacked up a lot of prizes. He got a trip to Aruba, I think it was, a trip for two. He got a plasma TV. Will got, he lost all his points. The, the, so they said like, how many points, so get out your chalkboards. How many points are you willing to give up to get $5,000? And Will gave up all his points for that 5K. I mean, oh shit, Will is entertaining as hell, I gotta say. Marcellus got a slot free pass. Uh, James took a phone call home and a margarita party. Really? I can understand the phone call home. Because you can justify that by saying, I just couldn't turn it up. But a margarita party? A margarita party, James? Somebody else could have took that. Like, he, he kept saying, like, oh, I looked at how many points I had, and it was only three points, so it wouldn't have made a difference. No. No. It doesn't. Just because you accepted it, only thing that happened when you accepted it is you lost points. Somebody else would have accepted that. It might not have been Danielle or Janelle, but Chill Town would have accepted Will? You think Will wouldn't have accepted that, James? Uh, so weird. Unless Will don't drink and I don't know about it. Uh, Janelle put the whole house on army cots and she, no, Danielle went into, um, army, what was it called? Solitary confinement for 24 hours. Janelle, I don't really remember everything she said. I know she put the whole house on. Oh, and she can't compete in the next veto, but she didn't reveal that to the house guest. So I think she's smart for that one. Uh, Will had a good plan of, well, oh, so Will mentioned in his DR, is it DR? Diary room, yes. I really like this, and this is why he's known as a good player. He said he wanted Janelle to win. He wanted Janelle to win and take herself down because he don't think he going up. So as long as he not going up, whoever goes up, he, he don't really care because Janelle's still in the house, and now she's going to go after Danielle. Danielle's still going after Janelle. So he's just, like, hiding. Like, he's doing a good job. I like him. I like watching Will. He's fun to watch. Chill Tom's laughing at everybody because <laughs> Janelle won the, won the veto. It's so funny because nobody in the house like her except Howie and Kaser, I think. Howie and Kaser are the only ones that really like Jan And Marcellus kind of likes her. It's so funny to me. And Chill Tom's just cracking up because they they got, so they're like, they, they diary room was like, oh, did you win the veto? No. Did you win the veto? No, but I did win the TV. I won 5K. I won a trip to Aruba. Like, <laughs> they're funny. I like, they're entertaining to watch. Everyone pretty much discussed what they accepted, and I thought this is where James really messed up because he told that he got a margarita party and all this stuff. But then, like, he would have had to tell, so maybe it's good. Like, I don't know, but it's just so stupid of him. And if I was Danielle, I would have went, well, no, nah, because James, it's so weird. It's weird. If I was in y'all, I'd be pissed, and she was pissed because she didn't accept any of the good things, and she still lost, and she had bad stuff, and no one pretty much helped her. Uh, so yeah, Janelle doesn't admit to the to the POV to getting the not being able to play in the next POV, but Janelle, those cots, oh my god! So the whole house is on slop. They take cold showers and they sleep on those those. those those cops were the worst. I normally say that the cold showers are the worst. I normally say I can deal with the HO, with the, with the, what's it called? The have not room, and I can deal with the slop. But the cold showers, I just cannot do. Because I won't, well, number one, I won't even feel like I'm clean. Because you need to be inside hot water to get clean in my, in my eyes. Just like when you wash dishes, or when you wash clothes. Like, you need, it needs to be hot, all right? But then also, it's super uncomfortable. Like, James couldn't even, like, <laughs> soak his body he was saying like i would like try to soap up and then just like get under there and just like act like i'm in a pool and hurry up like it's weird it's weird but the army cots looked horrible is what i'm trying to say and i would rather take the cold shower than have to sleep on those army things for a whole week that's like but army people do that, so i guess whatever military whatever uh danielle gets 24 hours alone this is the, the most messed up part danielle got the 24 hour of confinement during the margarita party. So James dumbass, I'm sorry, James dumb self accepted the margarita party and Danielle don't even get the VO I thought Janelle got the solitaire. I really did think she got that. But oh my God, it's so weird, so weird. Dan Janelle should have offered to work with Danielle. Janelle should have went up to Danielle and really worked and been like, listen, I know you wanted me out and all those people played you. She should have you should have made up some type of lie and been like, yeah, they came up to me and they said they were going to throw it to me because they said, 
If she was smart, she would have did this. But I mean, I'm watching it from the outside, so. It's funny, it's funny. Uh, so then, uh, Will came up with this idea to blame the 5K on Marcellus. It's so weird, because now he doesn't want Case to leave. He wants Marcellus to leave. This whole thing. He, he did seem like a mastermind with this. If only he would have. It was a good plan, but it failed. So he told everybody, let's blame Marcellus. Um, then he got out of confinement, and then she asked, you know, catch me up on what happened. Uh, she talked to Erica. She's like, Erica, you know, forget all of them. And Erica's like, I know. James comes in, and Danielle's like, listen, like, it was hard. You know, I didn't win, and I didn't even take that phone call. James did accept the phone call. And then James is like, well, can we talk in private? So Erica leaves. He talks to Danielle, and he's like, so everyone thinks Marcel took, Marcellus took the 5K. And I hope, I hope, and I really think that that's editing. I really think it's editing. Because I don't think my boy James is that stupid. She just mentioned a phone call. And you didn't even apologize. You didn't even tell why. You didn't explain it at all. You just completely changed the subject to trying to get Marcellus up. That is suspect. If I was Danielle, I would think, okay, so you're back with your group. You're back with your group, and you want me to get Marcellus out. That's what I would have thought. And I don't think James is that stupid, so I'm going to blame that on editing. I think that that was editing. I, I just, I don't see it. So Danielle's like, all right, and, okay, so he took 5K, and what? Because even if he did, if he, let's say he did take the 5K, so what? James, uh, James, you accepted two, two gifts, two rewards or prizes. Boogie, I mean, Boogie and Will is, I mean, I'm pretty sure they can know that they took some prizes. Like, at the end of the day, y'all are supposed to be her alliance, not Marcella. So why would he care about that? Or she care about that? Uh, then Jan uh, Janelle questioned James, and I thought this was interesting. So she's like, oh, yeah, so why would you not go for it if you thought she was about to be out? And James is like, oh, it was a little bit of points. She not stupid. Janelle not stupid. She knew James was playing her. Uh, new nom. So, obviously, Janelle vetoed herself. And she puts up. I, I honestly was like, I, I kind of figured, like, there's no way Danielle's stupid. But she ended up putting up Kaser. But there was like time when she talked to Kaser and she was like, I don't trust anybody but you. And she was talking about how close she was with Kaser. Erica was close with Kaser too. Like, everyone likes Kaser, but like, <laughs> they got him out. Uh, Chill Town cracks up at this whole thing. Kaser tries to campaign to Erica. Erica pretty much is like, I don't even think my vote will count, to be honest. Like, and Kaser's like, well, it could. It's so weird when people try to campaign, but then, like, they're just not getting the answers that they want. When somebody just won't even lie to you, <laughs> they just flat out, and you like them, like, that's your friend. It's, it's weird. Uh, then we get a little video package of Chill Town's mom, so we will find out that Will, he gets a lot of girls. Like, And I, I honestly can see it, because Will, during this show, he, a lot of times he's shirtless, um... And his hair is done up good, and he's a doctor in shape, and he's funny. So I would assume girls would like him a lot. And I think he's tall, too. Boogie, by the way, Boogie looks like he's 60 years old. He really looks like he's 60, and he looks like he did drugs. But anyway, we find out that Boogie uh, was the only child raised by a single mom, and he used to be a fat kid. Well, nothing really big on that. Um, James knows uh, Janelle's vote, so Janelle can't vote. Uh, Janelle and Howie voted to keep Kaser. So, like, James, you are on the bottom, bottom of your alliance. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny. Uh, Julie revealed the vote 5-1. to one. Kaser evicted. So, I'm pretty sure James is going to know that Howie voted for him to leave. Uh, Julie told Kaser about James. I feel like this was kind of, like, a little bit shady on the shady side. Uh, Kaser... Played the little sympathy card. He's like, oh, I guess I'm not cut out for this game. Uh, yeah, thought I could trust James. I was all for James, all this stuff. To be honest, I I like James, but James, you can't be so mad because you were HOH at one point too. You could have got really chill, got rid of Chill Town if you really wanted them out that bad. So I'm more of a Kaser and Janelle still. Uh, Kaser was really hurt. Uh, then we saw this little silly video package of a hundred HOH. And I hated the video package, but I loved the HOH competition. It was true or false, and it was the slowest, whoever was the slowest. So if everyone got it right, it's whoever answered the slowest. Uh, Howie was screwed on this competition because he definitely pressed it and it didn't go through. I thought, like, Big Brother would do something about it, but they didn't. So Howie was eliminated. 
Erica won. It was Erica got. Then we learn about the coup d'état is introduced, and I think this is supposed to benefit if because the coup d'état was inside of season eleven when I watched which. <laughs> What's that guy's name? Jeff in Georgia, and I think, I think. It's when, well, actually, she said what it was. Uh, HOH don't even count. You can just take away both day nominations and put two people up. That's the worst. That is the worst. To be honest, that ruins the game. A, a power that big ruins the game. It completely ruins the game, in my opinion. But I'm, I'm guessing that J Janelle gets it. That's the only person I can think to get it. Or maybe Howie. Howie or Janelle, I think, will get it. Uh, then the clue, so what they'll have to do is they're going to get some clues of a phrase, a common phrase. I don't know if it's a big brother phrase. And then they have to go to the diary room and say what it is. Whoever says it first and gets it right wins. There's going to be clues throughout the week, I guess. And the first uh, clue was a sheep inside of the inside the house. Personally, I thought it was a sheep when I saw it, but a lot of people were calling it like a lamb. Oh, God, is a lamb and a sheep the same thing? Not I feel stupid. I sound stupid. I don't know. But either way, it was a sheep or a lamb or whatever inside the house. It was just walking around like normal. But that's it for this video, y'all. Um, I'm, I'm excited for this week. I'm loving this season. And make sure y'all check out my Big Brother All-Star Season 22 videos as well. I'm actually doing a live stream on that like, really, really soon. Uh, I don't know when I'm posting this, though. So it might be... It's 9 o'clock on Sunday right now, 9.30 on Sunday. I have a live stream set up for 10 o'clock, so. Maybe I should post this during my live stream. Then I can promote this on my live. That would make sense. Well, leave this video a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all from social media. Until next time, y'all, catch you later.